Good morning. Here we are in the AQS studio in Paducah at Quilt Chat. And you know, we love coming to you every Wednesday morning and we hope that you'll ask us some questions as we go along. We'd be happy to answer them. Is that right? Absolutely, we'll try. Okay, and we always have a couple quilts that we're gonna talk about while we're here. And Betsy, take it away on the first one. The one behind us is Garden Path and that's by Deborah Ramsey. And it's a piece in applique quilt. Do you know, years ago, they used to call that style of quilt uh, in-between quilt. It was in between oh. all of the piecing and then before applique became very popular. We don't go by that term anymore because we all mix it all up. We have plenty of terms we as do. it is. <laughs> yes. Well, in looking at that quilt, one of the things that we saw was that Deborah put stitching around her applique. Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. She did embroidery stitches. Yes. It's, it's a nifty trick. Well, uh, yes, and if you if your applique it's just you got a little bump somewhere. Sometimes right. it'll hide that, won't it, it? It hides the little bumps in the applique and it pops your color. It also gives a kind of a folk art feel. It really does, especially the folk art feel. And you can have a different effect whether you use the same color embroidery floss as your applique piece or if you go in something right. really contrasting. You can pull the eye around that way. Right. Yeah, you sure can. And it gives us a chance to practice our embroidery stitches too. That's, that's right, embroidery is huge right now. <laughs> I know. It really is. Well, and so the quilt that we have in front of us here on the table is created and stitched by Molly Amstutz and quilted by Chris Kinderman. And it's called Love and Summer's Jewels. And Oh my goodness, this has a lot of extra detail on it, doesn't it? It's, it's incredible because it gets to some, I mean, you just wonder how she applicated it because some of these pieces are so fine, like the little vines over here, those, those go so tiny. And she really, she really had a great trick. Yes, she used ultra suede for some of those pieces. And I want to show you why she did that because I'm just going to make a cut in this piece of ultra suede because you can see that it makes a good clean edge and you don't have to turn anything under. So when she used it on these vines, she didn't have to turn under all of those tiny little leaves. All she had she to just... do was tack it down on the edges. And obviously on that, she used a matching thread. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see on her other applique, she did a buttonhole stitch, but it's done with a contrasting thread. Right. And the right button, in front of you. The buttonhole stitches on this are just adorable. They, they, they really are. add a lot and then it carries on into a really cute little embroidered um, little well, curlies, yeah. feathers, I guess they so are. Cute. And again, we've got the ultra suede for that tiny little beak with some stitching around it and a stitched ultra suede and wing. You know, that really takes all the fear out of a little tiny piece like that. Right. Because yes. if you were needle turning that, you might do it 40 or 50 times. Right. <laughs> I'll have to tell Probably you Probably so. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. <laughs> right? Well, well, what a cute way to add applique, again, to a pieced block. Look how she has a red piece here and a pink piece here. And like over here, she's got a dark navy that goes around this to accentuate. She's got, she's got an incredible ultra suede collection. Mm -hmm. I don't normally see that at the quilt store, so where can I find it, Bonnie? Well, I, I have been in a store that had the best 160 colors of ultra suede wow. at Fields Fabrics in Grand Rapids. And if you're ever near there, you need to make sure that you stop at Fields Fabrics. And you just happened to be in Grand Rapids last week. Oh, I didn't do it last week, though. Oh. I've done it before. But <laughs> okay. I, bought, I bought my ultra suede there, and they sell it in packets of pieces kind of like this where you get a variety of different colors. Or uh, when I was there, I was able to buy some scrap bags. But oh, they, oh, they don't nice. offer that. Their website is fieldsfabrics.com. They don't offer the scrap bags there, but they do the packets. So if you're planning a quilt, can you get like swatches from them? Yes, you can. They had a, a sample swatches, I think they that called them, purchase. There's, that there's you could buy. There's a depth of color to this piece oh. that is uh, incredible. It really now, is, it I really have does. used some ultra suede in some pieces and I'll just give you one little tip. Make sure that you dump it in some water first. Oh. The piece I used was red and it bled. Uh, and so just like any other fabric, there's excess dye in some of sure. those colors. That makes sense. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you do just, and it's entirely washable. This is the washable kind That's of ultra amazing. suede. So mm -hmm. you could do that you with there's no There's no worry after you put it on the quilt. That's right. That's right. Something That's else really that fantastic. is really interesting on this quilt. 
are the leaves in different places. If you notice that the, the maker did some really nice fussy cutting. She did. Uh, to place the, the, leaf, the leaf uh, details it with really fabric. They're just really pretty. Really and lots of, little, lots of little tiny embroidery dots, like yeah, in the, the French tiny knots, French, French knots French in the knots. middle of the little They're ultra suede pieces. They're all little circles, aren't they? Yes. Super well, cute. And you know, with this light background here, she used this white as part of this um, bud, but by adding again the that detail. Embroidery it detail. Mm -hmm. Made it noticeable instead of blending away. And so Bonnie, you know, a piece like this, I've done some embroidery work, but boy, when I get that top done, I feel like I've really accomplished something. <laughs> And I don't necessarily process to think of all these extra additions, especially coming back with dimensional pieces and then adding, mm -hmm. you know, embroidery embellish. It just keep going and going and going. And so, you know, what takes a quilt from just like an average quilt to a winter quilt? Well, it's really those extra details. And it doesn't make any difference if it's the detail in the quilting where you've changed up the scale and the size and the straight and right. curved. Um, you know, when the judges look at a quilt, uh, that's going to divide the winners from the non-winners because True. they'll be looking for those extra little special things did, that sets this one apart. Did you go the extra mile, that kind mm. of thing? That is true. That is true. And you know what? We've what? got to be getting our judging caps on because we get to be the judge. Yes. <laughs> right? Here comes, here comes the judge that's and it's right. everybody. It's us <laughs> and you. <laughs> well, and so for the Fall Paducah Show, uh, we will have three expert judges who will come in and they'll choose first, second, third, and honorable mention in the 15 categories. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all the judges get to do. They get to do the preliminary the work. Done. Yes, because now you get to be the judge. And we get to start the work, right? Th that's right. And so, right. so let me just tell you some of the things that you might want to consider looking at when you look at these 15 first place winners. You want to look at... Uh, first of all, the detail. You want to look at the scale, um, the color. Do the colors work? Mm -hmm. uh, is the amount of quilting pretty much uh, cover the whole quilt kind of uniformly, even though it may not be the same design? Mm -hmm. And is it appropriate for the quilt? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh, and then, you know, you begin to look at you know, can you see all these little points oh, that are supposed yeah. to be points? So whenever we're looking at the quilts, do we have to be present first? I think that's a good question. Do we have to be present to see the quilts to judge them, to vote? No, you'll okay. be able to judge live at the show, but we also will have a special website set up for the public to vote. And so anybody can have one single vote. And oh. so the one with the most uh, votes will become the Janome Best of Show winner. Uh, the wall quilt with the most votes will become the Gamel Best Wall Quilt. And then we have five first through, first through fifth place. So there'll be seven top awards that the public gets to vote. It's wow. going to be so fun. Oh, and then so nobody's fun. done that before. So we are right. excited to have everybody be a participant in choosing these winners. Right. You know, you walk through the show and you hear people, now why didn't that one win Best of Show? I've or heard the that a lot of times, <laughs> that people just... They don't understand the differences, and it's down to the very mi most minute detail sometimes. So on the website, there will be pictures of those 15 quilts. Okay. And those are the only ones that they'll be choosing from, and they get their one single vote. And um, just in case you're interested, the, the system is set up so that once it records your IP address, it won't let you vote so again. you can stop trying. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. It'll just one. give you a message that says, this, this address has already voted. Thank right. you very much. Um, and so the voting starts Tuesday at 6 p.m. when we have our winner's uh, premiere at the Expo and Convention Center. And it'll go until noon on Friday. Wow. And Friday night, we will announce those big winners. Yes. Well, I'm excited to get to be there and get to see the quilts in person and get to really look at them. Of course, I don't get to vote. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't think about that. Well, you will get to vote, and you'll yes. get to vote at the show. We'll have several different uh, uh, voting stations set up. 
you'll get to vote from your cell phone, your smartphone, mm -hmm. and you can vote from your computer any place in the world. So we wow. expect yes. everybody to participate in this. And we Truly want to say an international hi to, contest. I'm oh, sorry. It is. It is. International's right. We want to say hi to Glenn and Maria and Ruth. Hello. Right. <laughs> well, another day is almost gone. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you right back here yes. in the AQS studio next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. We'll see you then. Yes. Have a good week.